I was around like nine or ten, I would start doing little road races, like the watermelon and stuff like that. So I just remember having fun at those and like I would know everyone there and my parents. So that was a fun experience for me. Um, I've definitely learned a lot about myself through running. I think like in other aspects of my life, since I've been a runner, it makes me push harder. If you know that you can do like a really hard workout, like other stuff seems easier, sort of. We were at Sandland Ranch is where we were holding practice that, that morning. It was the first day, summer conditioning, and Emily came out and uh, she was a, your typical freshman, very quiet. She was that way actually her entire year. Uh, for the, I'd say 95% of the year, she never looked at me. Whenever she talked to me, it was, yes, coach, yes, coach, whatever you say. <laughs> so, um, so she was very, very quiet. You could tell she was nervous. Um, coach definitely helps me with running. Like, I don't know, I just freak out a lot and he'll come and he'll ease my nerves and help me and just like make me relax and be like, okay, let's go out there and do what you have to do. Like, just go run. But Coach is definitely awesome. He's a, he gets all our times and splits and he's just probably the best coach I've ever had. I used to play my freshman and sophomore year, I played competitive soccer and ran, so I would get a lot of injuries from that. <laughs> so um, my sophomore year was probably the worst. We didn't qualify for state, and I was like back like 35 places that I like should have been up, so that was kind of bad. But I came back track year, and I just, I said like, okay, I really need to like make up for this, like make up for this injury. Like I'm not injured this year, I can like really push through and do better, so. Yeah, there were definitely obstacles. <laughs> Running, it really truly is 85% mental. Um, and then the, the other 15% is, is talent and the hard work. She jumped right in her freshman year, day one, uh, jumped in with both feet, and she was bound, determined to do what even the returning girls were doing at that point in time. So she was not afraid of any workout that I threw out there at her. Probably my favorite memory was in our 4 by 8 team, we were like, we had just qualified for state and like it was kind of like between one of our rival teams, like it was like between us and them and we were like really nervous for that but then we qualified for state and broke the school record so that was one of my favorite memories. And then of course like going to state my freshman year for cross country, like that team was just really close and it was awesome to make it as a team. She's been to state um, every year. Uh, she's medaled every year, either in cross country or track. Um, so she's been on first team all states every year. Uh, county, she's dominated the county. She won county three out of the four times. One time she lost it was to Tori. Uh, she just uh, completed the sweep in cross country last night. We had her district meet last night. She won the individual championship for all four years that she was here. So athletically, obviously, she's done a lot. She's uh, got two individual records, plus she's a part of two other relay records, so she's got four record, school records there. I've made some of my best friends through cross country, which is really great, and I never really expected something like that. If you go on a 10 mile run, like we spend so much time talking, and so we're just super close and help each other through anything. I want to work hard for my parents and coach, and I just, I think I just have like an internal drive where I really like to win and really like to do my best, and I'm upset if I don't. Um, I definitely want to run in college. After that, like, I think I'm, I want to do a couple marathons and stuff, but I think I'll do it more for fun and less on the competitive side. 